Hello, this is Rosa Maria Belisario from the EFWA Team Spring 20. And in this video, we're going to go over the wiki effort. And uh, I'm going to explain real quick how it works. So the first thing that you need is actually for the professor to give you access. And it's going to be in Azure DevOps. And you're going to see uh, your project uh, called effort. And then you're going to click there. Something super important for you to understand is that all this information was before in JIRA uh, and Confluence. We were um, using before that platform and then we have to migrate to Azure. So what we did is took all the uh, documentation and put it right here in Azure DevOps. The way in how this is structured is by teams. So we have a general effort project that is going to explain you all the things that effort does and the general architecture. And then we are going to have we're going you're going to uh, see every single documentation for every single different group. Whenever you click there, you're going to see an S19 or probably an SP19 or also in some of them you're going to see even an FA19. What that means is the semester. So SP is for spring, SU for summer, and FA for uh, fall. And of course, the number is based on the year. So what we decided to do was uh, divide this in this series of groups. So for you, it's going to be super easy to look for the information. On the first effort project, where you are going to uh, see is first than anything the user stories this last pdf has every single user story completed or not completed for the entire project and this is a way for you if you want to have everything in a single place but also what i decided to do was um to uh, divide those user stories by team. So when I'm, if you're in the EFWE or EFWA or EFBT, you just have to click there. And then you can see all the previous information that it was in Confluence and Jira. Now, for these user stories, the last semester is going to be spring, mm, spring nine, fall 19 and spring 19. Some of them are going to, some of these resources are going to be on your Azure DevOps. So whenever the professor shares this with you, probably you're going to have like a new, um, a new app, a page with the wiki from the last semester. But yeah, here you are going to have a lot of information. So in effort project, you have everything regarding project, the architecture, the web API and the database, how it works, uh, the meta trader, the forex connections, everything that you have to know in general for the project. And then, for example, if you go to AFWA, we're going to see here that you have all the information about it. If they have videos, you're going to see the videos too. You're going to have also what they left for the next students. Uh, if we, we already have an effort architecture here, but maybe AFWA in this semester, they change something. So all the architecture and all the things that you need are going to be right here. So yeah, if you have any questions regarding this, you can always email me. My email uh, was on the first couple of seconds of this video, but it's really intuitive to get to this point. And you just have to remember that everything was migrating from Jira and Confluence. So some of the things are going to be in a PDF. Actually, it's not all of them are going to be in the main page because of different reasons with the migration. But you have here everything that you need. Even, for example, the user story that the, that the teams did that, they, that semester, you're going to have here a user story. A folder and then you can click there and see every single contact, every single thing that they were working on, the summary, the status, are you going to have the videos, if they have the videos, if they had also the diagrams, you're also going to see the diagrams and you have here all the information that you need in a single place. Thank you very much for watching.